Sounds good. Great, Maynard. This gentleman is a pillar of his community. He provides meals for the needy each Thanksgiving and Christmas. And every year he hosts a party as Santa Claus for the neighborhood children. Uh, problems of pigmentation notwithstanding. Excuse me, please, what is this uh, appliance? Oh, that, Mr. DiCinco, uh, is your basic ghetto blaster. You see, you put a little tape cassette in here like this, and you prop the box up on your shoulder and sort of walk down the street until the volume sort of makes your nose bleed. Tape cassette. Impressions, Mr. Manishvili? Oh, I am still gathering these. Yes, Constantine observes everything, Lieutenant. He misses nothing. Hey, Bobby, you said these folks are from Russia and Georgia? They eat like they're from Macon, Georgia. <laughs> Righteous meal there, man. <laughs> How do you like it? Oh, it is completely delicious. I hope you will tell me the ingredients. Uh-oh, that may be a state secret. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we got it for you. Lots of folks asked. Excuse me, uh, is it so easy for a person in America to become successful and give away food? Well, I wouldn't say it's easy, mister. Can I have some bones? Honey, we're still using it to make the soup. Thought, thought you were giving bones away. You're supposed to be giving bones away. But, but we're still using it for the soup. I see your bones! Well, come here! Hey, the man gave me a hard time. I can't keep my dog tied outside all day. As soon as we can... I need to pull back. Hey, take it easy, huh? Who was lying to me? Yeah, get that stool down right now. Put the stool down right now! You all right, sugar? Hi, thanks. Don't do that. And my cut. No. Uh -uh. Right there. Right there. Bones! Yeah. Hey, what's your name? Tyrone. Who's going to take care of my dog? We'll keep the dog here. All right, Tyrone. This is regrettable. You are under arrest. We'll go. We'd like just... very much to see your procedures of arrest. We would wish to follow the entire arrest procedure. Would this be possible? Oh, we have no gulags here. We do our penal linen in fresh air and sunlight. Come along if you like. Let's go. Let's All go. right, if you so desire. You have the right to remain silent. Uh, you give up the right to remain now silent. Now, that's my recipe. Oh. And please come back. Thank you. Спасибо, Огненнар. Yeah. Maynard, uh, the city's visitor bureau make arrangement for payment? Uh-uh. Now, uh, this officer is in charge of our supplementary holding facility, which we refer to as the garden level. <laughs> you truly believe in the free enterprise system. Anyone can become a success. Oh, without question. Why, well, look at Maynard, uh, our host at mm. that restaurant. Now, uh, here is a man with uh, educational and economic cards stacked against him. And yet he's kind, honorable, hardworking. Now, you see, in America, a man who makes a better mousetrap will ultimately succeed. <laughs> Do you hear this, Ludmilla? It is like my brother in Phoenix I spoke to you of. I do not ask if Constantine here, since Constantine here is everything. Lieutenant, what will finally happen to the criminal? Oh, well, Mr. Crane has a right to a trial by 12 of his peers, all of whom must vote to convict. Yes, but we have read of your plea bargaining system. Well, it's true. He may be given inducements to plead guilty to a lesser charge. Uh, believe me, this is a flaw. And will he not be convicted solely because he is a black? Well, uh, no, no, not for this minor offense. He probably won't even be convicted at all. As instinctive believers in the individual as against the collective, we surround our defendants with protections. I demand asylum. I desire to talk to Cherichen. That is all. <laughs> well, Ned, my friend, just now he's completing preliminary interviews on his lonely pathway to freedom. Can't figure this one out. Did he say what he wants? 
There's always about 5% of them. They don't know what they want. They apply for asylum. Six months later, they reapply. They want to go back again. I've done 12 of these previous. Never had one like this. No political motive. For us, there's one economic motive out the window. Got nothing to offer of value. Guy's so off the wall. If he's a KGB C, to be the trick of the year. If I had a guess, it says in that 5%. Can we get rid of him? I want my supervisor to evaluate first. Tell you. Guy like this would be an embarrassment. Let him in on other than ordinary immigration channels. Captain. Please. I sense you're a very kind man. I'm appealing to a personal mercy. How can I help you? I would like the permission to speak with Cherchenko. Uh, I'm afraid we can't do that until we determine his status. But his desire to defect is not genuine. Please believe me. Cherchenko's problem is with me. Uh, we have to take him at his word, ma'am. But he'll change his word in three or five days, and then he and I and Konstantin, all of us are going to be in very big difficulty. That's why no one has called the embassy yet. We would speak in English. We'll have nothing to hide. I'm no expert. What do we have to lose here? You said yourself the guy could be an embarrassment. I'd have to be there. Fine. Well, it can all be too late. I don't care. You're just saying that. You don't think of consequences. Well, I think of them. Perhaps it is you who do not. Explain. Perhaps it is you who do not. I say it. Let us speak frankly while we still have this chance. I have said so. Finish. Does this concern love? Does it concern Constantin? You slept with that snake, that cold frog. Misha, please forgive me. I love only you. No, you do not love me. We have difficulties, I know. We can resolve this. Constantine understands my love for you. He understands no second How I could hate. you? How could? Потому что ты всегда только о себе думаешь, потому что ты самый настоящий эгоист. Да потому что отвратительный постели. Я прошу времени. Misha, but we can still try to resolve this. You and I, alone. No, Constantine. What was the rush? Uh, it's personal. It involves Constantine? Which is KGB. Nada. Let us speak frankly. Constantine? Excuse me. We wouldn't have each other. What was the rush? Uh, guys got a little problem in the sack. Two prompts. That was the word he used. Too prompt. А ты поможешь мне быть не таким эгоистом? Я люблю тебя, Черченко. I do not wish to defect now. I am sorry. I wish only to continue our tour of America. If it is possible for this not to become an international incident, we would be very grateful, Captain. No one of us would wish to tell our government. I can't guarantee the press, Miss Morales, but I have no hotline to your embassies. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You have all your possessions? Yes, thank you. And we must say again, we're deeply sorry for our friend Maynard. Freedom sometimes exacts horrible prices. Captain, I hope you do not think we're clowns. 
in the face of such a sad loss to be taking up your time with what it must seem to you such a foolish quarrel. Of course not. I hope you two can work out your problems. That's right. Good luck.